This short recording is designed to show you how to type in answers in these radical problems. They can be a bit tricky, so first I want to show you the easiest way to do it and the way I suggest you do every single one of these radical problems. When you click inside the answer box, a little yellow arrow shows up to the right. Click this little yellow arrow and this MathQuill feature will pop up. What MathQuill will do is help you type in answers visually just like you expect to see the math. So the first part of this answer outside the radical is x, y squared, z squared. I can type in x, y, and then if I want squared, we click the guy with the exponent. Type in the exponent squared. Notice the exponent is highlighted blue with a blue box. That means I'm typing in the exponent still. Scroll over once to get out of the exponent. Or you can use the arrows in the bottom of MathQuill. I need a z squared, so I'll type z exponent squared and scroll over. Now I'm ready for the radical part of my answer. There's two radicals on MathQuill. The first one is for square roots only. This one you will use for all square root problems. This problem though has a seventh root, so we need to use the index of n, meaning we have some other number for an index. The system will default to a third index. We don't want a third index, but if I scroll back once, It'll highlight the index so that I can change the index to be the 7 I want. Scrolling over again will stick me back in the radical. Inside the radical, we need to type x cubed. So we'll start with an x, then use the exponent button, cubed. Notice the exponent is highlighted. When I scroll over once, the radical is now highlighted. This means I'm still typing inside the radical. A common error I see students do is they will hit the, out, the over button and scroll over too much, and now the radical is not highlighted. So when I type in y to the sixth, you'll notice that y to the sixth is not under the radical. This is bad. We want the y to the sixth to be under the radical. I scroll back, and you notice the radical is highlighted with the blue box, so I can type y exponent six. Scroll out of the exponent. Now the radical is highlighted, so I can type z exponent sixth power and scroll out. This is now my final answer, and I can hit save. Now I can see my entire answer typed out in the answer box. Now if you want, you can type this in manually. I do not suggest typing in the radical manually because it's very complicated in one small error can make the whole thing come out wrong. So please use the yellow arrow. But what we do notice is the way we typed in the index of 7 is we type root, and then the index in parentheses, and then the stuff inside the radical in a new set of parentheses. And notice the last parentheses didn't end until the end of the radical. Hit preview to make sure it looks like I want, and then we can submit our answer. That's how you type in radicals. It's going to help a lot in this unit. Let me know if you have any questions. I strongly encourage use the yellow arrow.